In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do multicolor printing using a Bamboo Lab P1S printer and the AMS multicolor unit. In this case, we're going to change the color based on the layer height. And so I have this A&M tag here that I'm going to want to change. So I'm going to see at what layer we're going to want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and preview. And we're going to come down and let's look at layer 10. You can see it's still doing the background, the base at layer 10. At layer 11 is when it's actually doing the text. So at layer 11, this is where we're going to want to change the colors. But we're going to come back over here to prepare and we're going to make sure that we have our colors. In the AMS, I have a Creality brand PLA loaded in slot number one and a Filicube Burgundy PLA loaded in slot number two. In this case here, these are placeholders. These are not necessarily going to be the same slots that these colors are in your AMS. In my case, it is because I went ahead and synced the AMS with the uh, with the colors in here. And in my case, I've actually calibrated a Creality Gray PLA and a Filicube Burgundy PLA by clicking on the calibration here and then going through the process of calibrating those. And so now I have some user presets for the different uh, brands and colors that I've actually calibrated. I haven't calibrated white PLA, but I'm just using the gray calibration for the white and then just changing the color here to white. So now that we've established at what point we're going to want to change, I'm going to come back to preview. We're already at layer number 11. I'm going to right click. I'm going to change filament and I'm going to select filament 2. And then I'm going to re-slice. And so here you can see it's going to first put down the white layer. And then it is going to do the red layer. And we're only going to have one filament change. Now I want to be able to maximize this. And I also don't want to have this since I'm only having one filament change. I don't want this taking up real estate. And so I'm going to come over here to Others, and I am going to disable the Prime Tower. Now I am also going to come up here to Flushing Volumes, and I'm going to auto-calculate it. And since I'm not doing the Flushing Tower, I'm going to go ahead and set that multiplier to 1.2 just to give it a little bit more of a flush in between the different colors. We're going to be changing from white to the burgundy. And so we probably, we will need more of the flush from burgundy back to white. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now I want to maximize the number that I'm going to do. So I'm back to prepare. I'm going to right click. I'm going to clone it. And I'm going to go ahead and clone it 29 times. Now it's kind of hodgepodge place them onto the bed. So I'm going to come up here to arrange all objects. And then I'm going to click on arrange. And so that automatically arranges everything on to the bed here. And so we are ready to go. I'm not using any kind of supports because I don't need any supports. So we're going to go ahead and slice the plate. It's going to take approximately three hours. I'm going to go ahead and print the plate. It's all 
already synced up with my AMS, but if it wasn't, this is where you would select the different slots in your AMS for the different colors you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and level the bed just because these are small and sometimes these smaller items have a hard time unless the bed has been freshly leveled. Now I was having trouble with that initial layer staying down so I sprayed a small amount of this Rave hairspray onto the build plate to help with the adhesion of that first layer. And so now I will send this to the printer and then when it's completed printing we shall be back. All right. And here we are working on layer 10 which is the last layer of the white filament and when it's finished with this layer it's We'll use the AMS to swap out the white filament for the maroon filament. And so here it's drawing back the white filament. feeding in the maroon. And it will start purging out the white filament. Here it is finished. 